Hello and welcome to Lad Reviews. Yes, I know it was reviews from the north, but we're kind of having a bit of a change. So, ping, Lad Reviews. Hello, so I'm on my own. I know you've seen my Lad Reviews with Carl Golder, but if you have seen me doing film reviews, then I'll I do these on my own. Let me crack on. Today's is Deadpool, as you'll have just seen from the start. I know, I'm late to the party, but I've always intended to see this and I wasn't really gonna do a review, but once I watched it, I was like, I'm gonna have to because it's Hilarious. I haven't laughed at a film like this. I haven't found, I haven't laughed like this at a film for a very, very long time. <laughs> You know, one of those body ones. I don't know what that was. That isn't my laugh. I just, I'm not very good at faking laughs. So anyway, where to start? Well, Ryan Reynolds, who steals the show, is a mercenary who basically gets cancer. Well, not basically, he gets cancer. He has a wife in it who is in something called V, which was brilliant and then got decommissioned. And I don't know why, because I loved it. She was amazing in it anyway, fast forward. She's really good in it as well. Ryan Reynolds is the star of the show. Now, anyway, he gets cancer. It's terminal and there's nothing he can do. He's going to die. No! Don't worry, it's okay. Sort of. So he's basically accosted, not accosted, accosted is the wrong word, but he's, he's seen by this guy. This guy pulls him to one side and he's like, I have an idea, boy. And the idea he has is basically to put him through some trials, which will help him. Trials are the wrong word. Some sort of experiment, shall we say. An experiment. So he goes through an experiment, which will help him basically get rid of the cancer and it will cure him. However, all is not what it seems. I won't tell you too much more about it because obviously it'll give away the story but basically something happens to him within that moment and this is all in the write-up for the film as, as normally I'm not giving any way spoilers here he basically can now regenerate so he heals really really quickly let's pump that to one side what makes this funny is the way that Ryan Reynolds has us all in on the joke. He breaks down the fourth wall. Now, if you don't know what the fourth wall is, it's this. I'm breaking through the fourth wall now. You have the three walls of the stage, if you were looking on. It comes from a, a theatrical thing. So obviously when you're watching a proscenium arch, which is what most theatres are, you have the three walls. And this wall here, which the audience are looking through, is called the fourth wall. So when an actor turns to the audience and speaks to them, that's called breaking down the fourth wall. And Deadpool does this all the time. He talks to us all the time. We're in on the jokes. He has a joke with us in the middle of amazing fights. It's really, really good. Great use of it, so well directed. And that really, for me, enhances the comedy because you feel like you're part of it. But what really makes it funny is Deadpool's sense of humor. It's morbid, it's dark. This is not for the faint hearted because amongst all of that morbidity of sense of humor are some really gory moments. So if you are squeamish, this probably isn't for you, but if you can turn a blind eye and enjoy the comedy, then this is fantastic. If you like superhero films, this will be right up your street. Again, I apologize that I'm late to the party, but you've but it's now on Netflix, and that's why I'm reviewing it because it's on Netflix and you can watch it right now just with a flick of a button. It's shot well, it's funny, good VFX, great soundtrack. Casting. Well, not, not with everybody, but with just one or two of the really important parts. Not quite right. The baddie hit and miss. He, he, there's times in it when he nails it, there's times in it when it's just like he's a stereotypical English dude, which is cool. And he was actually Dario Naris originally in Game of Thrones before he was changed after the first series. He was one of the guys that had thing for Daenerys Stormborn. Anyway, moving on. He was a guy with long hair, but he shaved it all off now. He's got a skinhead in his body in this. Oh, it's not quite right. It's not quite right. So for me, that's the only thing that's actually stopping it getting five stars. It's four and a half stars. Get yourself down to your local Netflix and watch. I've been Marcus J. Richardson. Thanks for joining us on Lab Reviews. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Peace.